following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of the Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your day and putting up with me doing this in a video to give my video a watch and a listen. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification button. Smash the like button. Help a brother out. If you'd really like to help the channel grow, down below we have all of our support links from Patreon to PayPal. Make sure you take care of your bartenders and waitresses. They have kids. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want to put that on you, man. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. If you have a band song or a video that you'd like me to check out, get over to the Discord server. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Drop a link, a brief description. I'll get to it when I can. Today's video is coming from Paul Marsh. It says, hey, man, check out this little project. I'm not aware that I've done a video on this before, but today we are checking out Northward. I believe it's Floor Jensen. Let me know down below with everything I need to know because you are my Sherpas on this journey of mine, so I'm relying on you to fill me up. Nope, to fill me in with everything. We're just checking out Northward, man. It's called Big Boy. It's the wild side. Here we go.
right, man. That is Northward, big boy. I mean, Florianson, 6'1". I don't know who she considers a big boy. What a brilliant, brilliant modern active rock song, rhythmic rock song. That's perfect, dude. That is, that's checking every box for me. It really is. And I think what, look, I love Floor's vocals. I'm going to get to them here in a second. But I got to tell you, dude, that the music of this track probably covered 30 years of satisfaction. I, 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 I'm, I'm catching all the vibes from this that are making this song attractive, right? So like every band I could think of that I enjoyed, that crunchy, dirty, vulgar, sexy rock, Right, that blues driven, rhythmic, forward moving. You know, this is a sexy tune, man. And not like a Fabio riding on a horse sexy. This is like behind the club while looking over your shoulder kind of stuff, right? Like, this is really good. Like, this is really good, sexy rock, man. It, it reminds me of um, the, the, the dirtiness of it, the, um, the sultriness of it okay the bayou if you will it has a very i'm gonna say this band's name and no one's gonna understand it until you appreciate it the way i do there's a there's a an atmosphere to this music that lends itself to the in my mind to the bayou to the um, the gentility that you know there's some freaky stuff going on behind it, right? You know, like that kind of, you know, it appears prim and proper and it looks right, but you know it's going to get nasty up in here. There's a band called Screaming Cheetah Wheelies, and they're, that's what it was. But I, I also wrote down Godsmack, Hailstorm. I wrote No More Tears. Like that's Jakey e. Lee, Zach Wild esque in that vibe. Um, even I even wrote down Velvet Revolver for some reason. Like, bro, man, this is... And that's what I mean by a sexy rock and roll song. Scott Weiland, Stone Temple Pilots, and Velvet Revolver. That's a sexy rock band, right? Um, In Excess, that's a sexy rock band. That's a sexy song right there, bro. And it's, it's, the, it's the rock and roll kind of sexy. It's really, it's dripping in the blues. Her vocals, Floor's vocals in this track, I'm almost mad that this has been kept from the world. Almost, right? Her vocals in this track... I've mentioned other singers with regard to Flor Jensen, how I see where I hold these singers in the pantheon of my soundtrack, of my life, which is the most important, right? That's the most important to me. It's my soundtrack and my life. I have Ann Wilson, Pat Benatar, Johnette Napatolano of Concrete Blonde, these establishing, dominating but still rock and roll doing it better and higher quality than anyone else out there. You know, Lizzie Hale, these are, you know, Amy Lee, these, these vocals are the rock and roll vocals that have no gender. It's just rock, dude. It's just rock. And because she's a female, she lends this, um, she is the Aphrodite between Scylla and Charybdis. Right, she's not the siren luring you to your doom. She is the, the power and the beauty that pushes you through the storm, if that makes any sense. And her dominance in this track is incredible. It's just absolutely incredible. And it, it was very surprising to hear her do that very... Um, like I said, this is a rhythmic rock song. This is very punchy. It's very bouncy. You know, there's a there's a um, a cheekiness to it. There's a fun involved that exudes from her vocals. And when you layer all of that together, when you take those vocals that are, you know, <sighs> there's that scene from um, Oh Brother, <laughs> Where Art Thou is just coming to me. There's this scene from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? 
where the three ladies and it's it's homeric you know it really is homeric it's odysseus and all that but there are the three girls in the wet dresses in the river and you're like bro i'm i know i'm walking into my death right now like i know i'm totally going into it man and i'm i'm down i'm completely down with it that's the type of attraction and texture that she brings to this track and when you take the music part of it the creative part of the music and you start to parse through all of that influence and not just the influence but it's these traditional rich tones that just shine with this modernity that create this freshness this like i said i spent the song you know sniffing the air like where do i know it where do i know it I don't know it, but I do know it, and that's what makes the song perfect because it introduces you to something you don't know the whole time you believe you know it. You, you know this. I know this feeling. I know these colors. I know this texture, and it's done perfectly here. So Big Boy by Northward, very good suggestion. Thank you very much, Paul Marsh, for that. If you have a suggestion like Paul Marsh had, get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube Reaction Requests, Read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. If you would like to help the channel grow, down below we've got everything from Patreon to PayPal. Make sure you take care of your bartenders and waitresses. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Smash that like button. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side.